What's up everybody, this is Rad Tech Shoe, and I am bringing you part 11 of my Devil May Cry 2 LP Lucia storyline. Before we get started, I'm just going to give her, give a quick update on my uh, status. The game, I am done playing the game, I've finished everything, and I have obtained all the footage that I need to for this game, for my LP of Devil May Cry 2. And I'm going to change the order in which I'm going to do things. Before I, before I do the final mission of Lucia, which will be the last video of my double of my LP, I will go ahead and post my Mission 9 Redemption video as well as the, the two uh, secret rooms from Mission 16. I will merge all those into one video together and pretty much uh, post all of that right before I post my final mission with Lucia, Mission 13. So, as you can tell, I have update I have upgraded my Zombox to level 3. And what we're going to do here is we're going to attack the eye and the same idea from the Dante playthrough will take place here. It'll open up, but we have a time limit. We have to defeat all the enemies within the time limit if we want to proceed, which isn't too hard. This is easily doable on the first try. However, just like with the Dante playthrough, Dante storyline, we have a devil heart here that we want to get. It's right over here. So if you don't remember from the first video, the goal is to knock these enemies into the little lump on the right, that gray lump. We just gotta knock them into the air and into it. So as you can tell, uh, kicking them or launching them into the air is fairly decent at it. It weakens it tremendously. And bam, there we go. There is our new Devil Heart. Now, I won't get it just yet. Right now, I'm going to use all my Devil Trigger and kill as many enemies as I can because now I'm pressed for time. I have to kill all these enemies. I don't want to replay the. I don't want to retry this a second time. So I'm going to. I'm pressed for time right now. I'm just going to kill as many enemies as I can. And then, once I'm all out of Devil Trigger, I will. Uh. And once, I'm all, once I defeat all these enemies and the second wave spawns, I will take care of... I will grab the double heart, uh, the chrono heart technically, and I will use it to refill my double trigger for the second wave of enemies that are about to come. Now that we have the Chrono Heart, we are good to go and we will be able to uh, fight these guys with full double trigger and the ability to slow down time which makes the Abyss Goats a little bit easier to deal with. So as you can tell, it's pretty simple, pretty standard. One goat on his own is really not too hard, I can easily take care of him. But when I get, but when the, this next wave comes along... Uh, there's going to be a lot more enemies that are going to try and rush me. So I'm going to try and take care of these guys as quickly as I can. So pretty much this is pretty straightforward. It's going to come down to the wire and I'm just going to barely make it. So as you can tell right now, it's just all about using that Chrono Heart to slow down the enemies. Try not to get knocked around. The more you get knocked around by these Abyss Goats, the harder it's going to be. And it's going to be... I'm going to... It's going to come down to wire. I'm going to have less than 10 seconds when I finish this. But for the most part, I do manage to get it. But yeah, use the double trigger first. Then pick up and just use all your ranged attacks and take out as many enemies as you can for, while you're in double trigger. Then pick up the Chrono Heart. So as you can tell, it's close right here. I've got... Just 10 seconds left, and I barely managed to make it. So we're just going to hop right in and end the mission. Alright, and that's that. So pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Easy to do as long as you have a plan. If you're ended, you're not taking damage. As you can tell, my damage was actually fairly decent. The, the I barely got hit. 
the goats, I think I got kicked once by the goats, and I think that might have been it. I might have taken some other small damage elsewhere, but if you're not getting, as long as you're not getting knocked around and you have a plan and you know what to do and how to do it, that mission is actually not too hard to get the Chrono Heart and finish in the time limit on the first try. Anyway, I will see you in the next video.